Newcastle on January 27th. Tickets on sale now on Ticketmaster. Well, you can feel it is really ready to ignite here inside the cage. We look at the tail of the tape. One year, the younger is Montagnac. He is the favorite in the tip sport odds. Height and reach almost identical. Let's get this one ready. Let's go. Look at the size of these two men. Montagnac coming out early with that kick, Luke. Well, one of the phrases we used in the commentary meeting was rock 'em, sock 'em, robots for these two. And we've had a night of finishes already, Brian. Be surprised if this doesn't add to the list. Yeah, look at the caliber of fighter. Stephen McDonald as well, an incredible story coming from a very hard background. Basically, his coach said, yeah, he's, he's been around, you know, family members going through drug issues, things like that. Then, like, you know, coming through and living from the age of 15, having to look after himself, has found martial arts, though, has built himself up and has earned this spot on this big stage. I mean, it's been four years since he stepped in and competed in MMA, and that, that's just too long for a talent like Stephen McDonald. Well, I almost can feel that it's been a while for him as well. Seems to be finding his feet here, finding his distance, and, and just kind of settling into this one. Montagnac moving a lot more than I'm used to seeing him. He does move, but he's really overemphasizing that in this one early on. Like you oh. said, change of camp. So maybe a few new tactics. He said he worked, went away and worked a lot on his striking. Gets caught there with that low kick, though. Stumbles him. Damn it. Oh, he's chewing up that front leg. Look on the inside of the thigh and the outside there is Stephen McDonald. Well, that's the interesting thing as well. Both of these, these men coming out southport. Probably both used to fighting against orthodox fighters. So yeah. interesting to see how that changes things up. Oh, a nice low kick there. Oh, that certainly hurt Montagnac there. He dragged and slid his leg, that lead leg back. Yeah, even though he kind of partially blocked the attack. I mean, shin on shin is never oh. nice. McDonald he hasn't competed in MMA for four years, but last year took a fight in Thailand, <laughs> went up against a, a Thai fighter, and again, he's a light Three heavy. Nice left hand there for Montagnac. Yeah, he's a light heavyweight, but the Thai fighter apparently, his, his coach was saying, was about 240 pounds. <laughs> Where do you find a Thai that big? Exactly. Who ate all the pies? Wouldn't be pies, would it be pad ties? Who ate all the pad <laughs> oh, ties? Oh, I'm going to clap that one. <laughs> I'm going to clap that one, Luke. These two feeling each other out right now. Oh, nice. Dug them kicks, man. Look yeah, at the look well. Look at the well look at the back at of the, the leg well. from that last one. That one's painful. And you look at the anatomy of that thigh. It's got that side. Oh, yeah. oh, Aggression now, though, coming forward. Good read there from Montagnac to switch up to the grappling. Nice underhook dug in from the Canadian McDonald. But that was a beautiful read from, from, from Montagnac. You felt the intensity of that left hook that come out of McDonald and decided to switch up to the grappling. But you can see we've got a great view of the world here from the commentary position and my goodness, it's getting redder by the second. Very vocal Montagnac corner, getting those knees off in the grappling. McDonald though, look how strong he is, that good head position. Yeah, it just looks, I want to use the phrase farmer strength, but I don't know well, if there's fisherman there's strength, fisherman I'll give you strength. that because okay. uh, his, his family come from that fishing background and there is something about that there's a different sort of mentality craziness wildness all that knees though digging into the the gut there of mcdonald seemed to be causing an oh. issue another nice one there Re response we saw in the pavel langer fight as well that montignac can certainly handle himself against you know good grapplers yeah he's very difficult to take down i, I said that on his walkout as well um, I, I feel like he excels in these positions as i say that look at mcdonald get a takedown but yeah. <laughs> it's uh it's normally how he, he's very very he has great balance is what I say athleticism and balance and if he does get taken down he jumps up very very quickly i remember watching one of his earliest fights and he wore, wore his man out by getting taken down three or four times but getting back to his feet with extreme athleticism yeah. and manages to swing oh. McDonald around there and end up on top again great display of balance Good whizzer here, nice. Oh, he's trapped the Big hand as well. Hand Big shot. shots coming down. Searching for the neck maybe here, Montagnac. Yeah, Montagnac only has one finish out of his four fights. Four wins, I should say. But that was the one against DD Sport. You're already seeing an evolution in him though, right, Luke? There's a, there's a difference in his fighting style that we saw last time. Again, taking the time away to join that new gym to really put himself in the mire against some tough, tough competition. Manhandled, oh my, except 
Could have almost been a bulldog joke I was joke about there. to say that. I didn't want I'm to say sure it. I'm not sure Montagnac knows how to do a bulldog joke. I'm not, so I'm not no judgment. Everyone knows a front headlock, mate. <laughs> oh, rolling true. for a knee there. Rolling for a knee. Good work there from McDonald. Oh. Both back to their feet. Let's see it. Let's see if those leg kicks come back from Montagnac. Grueling first round between the two. When he's very, very laboured swing there from McDonald's. Yeah, he looks tired. I'd like to see him put it to work. He's thrown, I don't know what the stats are, but he's, he's a six to yeah. one outsider now, and I think he's maybe only thrown three strikes in the whole fight. And that pressure, you said that change in intensity came off one of those big, heavy leg kicks or oh, inside this time. But Montagnac's doing a good job of, of, of evading. Oh, nice left hand skims off the, the top of the head. And McDonald's still taking deep, deep breaths. Maybe travel could have been an issue as well for him. I'm not sure when he arrived, but long distance he's, he's, he's travelled. Yeah, it's a long, long way from, uh, from Canada, North America, all the way to here in Cologne. But Montagnac, I mean, not taking any away from, away from him so far, done a fantastic job. And listening to his corner, this is the thing as well, you know, building that bond with a new team and they see the talent in him athletically he possesses so much talent he's proved himself a, a number of times already in mma he's a sander champion in, in france multiple times as well and just now needs to not be complacent that's what happened to him in the the Streichlick fight i can't say the name very well but that's what happened when he got knocked out he threw he threw he was winning he was winning he was on top and he, he blinked and he was out Needs to make sure that he keeps that concentration high because the same could happen here with McDonald. He possesses that incredible power and he just almost caught it there with that, that little shot. Yeah, McDonald's always dangerous though. Comes from a boxing background. His family, for a fighting family, karate, they competed in his aunties, his uncles, his granddad took him to boxing when he was a young man. He's actually the postman in the, in the local boxing gym that taught him how to strike. You can even see here with McDonald, he's gun shy, he, he's unsure, you know, he's trying to find a distance again, trying to find his feet, I struggling think, with these low kicks. I think most of all, Luke, he's tired and he's trying to get some wind back in those lungs so he can attack. But Montignac just picking his oh, nice, nice left, left hand. hand. Nice left hand. Oh, and again, he's just burying those kicks inside and out, Montignac. I'd like to see him come up high with those kicks now as well, because McDonald's hands are low. He's been, been chopping those legs down, chopping, chopping, chopping. I'd like to see him come up, switch it up, especially with that right leg. Ooh, nice oh, nice stiff jab. If you can bring that right leg to the head, that left hand is extremely low from McDonald. Halfway through his round number two here. Oh, Whee. left hand, left hand, that was clean. Buzzed. Now needs to, needs to, again, not get carried away, not get caught in, does Montagnac. Definitely will be on his mind, especially in his corners as well. Try and control him, control the beast, but you still need to take advantage of these situations. Yeah. I mean, McDonald now just a, a walk, walking punching bag at the moment. Like you said, tired, looks it, fatigued, struggling with the rain, struggling with his legs, and struggling with every time he tries to step forward, Montagnac's on his bike, moving extremely yeah. well. Yeah, this is a big cage, and again, probably the, the biggest cage that McDonald has fought inside of, and Montagnac is using it well, right? He's used to this. This is fourth, his fifth fight for, uh, for Octagon. He keeps chopping that leg up, Luke. Oh, and now nice he's... Nice block that time, though, from McDonald. We. One minute, 30 seconds. It, it, it's, I know that he's winning the fight, Luke, but you do want to see him up it, right? 36 it, strikes to one in significant punches. I mean, a lot of those are leg kicks, but that, that just shows McDonald. I want to see, so there's that right that left hand. I just want to see something from McDonald. I want to see, see a glimpse of what he possesses, because so far, you're debut on a new promotion, and, and you're really oh. not putting your best foot forward at the moment. Oh, Three. left again. Double, double right, left hand, landed perfectly. That's what we need to do, some more combinations. Combination, move off, and then a second phase I'd like to see. Don't just go once, then go again, but, but set it up. That's where we'll see the finish. If you can do put a couple of phases together, we'll definitely be able to get this one out. 40, 
40 seconds remaining in this second round. Do you think Luke has got anything to do with what happened in that Strelcheck fight? So dominant for one minute 38 seconds, and then that one punch at one minute 39 from Strelcheck took all that work, all that dominance away. Yeah, definitely. I think that's why, but that's good. That's where he, need, he needs to develop from that. So now throw that combination, then move and then throw another combination. Don't stand in front of him like he did when he got caught with that shot. Ooh, oh, big swing and a miss there with the right hook. 15 seconds. Oh, coming in now. McDonald now getting back to the center of the cage. Final 10 seconds of this second round. Looks like we will see a third. McDonald taking these shots well, though. Oh, he's tough as nails, mate. You look at his fights, you, you hear about how his teammates talk about him. A clinical performance so far. Dominant yeah. round one, dominant round two. Yeah, very, very precise with his shots. Hasn't thrown so much, but every, everything's been pretty much on point from him. We, we, at least McDonald's waking up a little bit, tries to counter with that left hand. Nine to one outsider here. Yeah, we've seen odds further apart than that and i will say mcdonald still has that chance he has the power in the hands he just seems like he's not in this fight he doesn't seem to physically or mentally rather be here his body might be but his mind just doesn't seem switched on to me again that might uh, the know, travel the time away from competing in yeah. mma all those factors but at least he's, he's twitching and now he's twitching he's moving he, he's showing intention needs to really come out in this third round he's definitely two rounds behind and bleeding now from the mouth. Yeah, nice slick jab there from Montagnac. Still moving well, the light heavyweight. Yeah, I mean, he's not been under pressure at all in this fight. He's fought his own pace the entire time. It's not been a very oh. fast pace, apart from maybe the last minute of that first round. Those low kicks definitely building up. You can see incorrect footwork now from McDonald, stepping that, overstepping that right leg. Stepping his right leg over the, crossing legs every single step. I mean, that's basic, basic boxing. Yeah, but that, when your legs... They will feel like like a, a ton of lead hanging onto your foot, right? Yeah. Just unable Wee. to move it properly. That sciatic nerve has been damaged so many times. You can see on the outside the damage it's caused. God knows what it looks on the inside, but my goodness, Montagnac still chewing it up inside and out. Well, stalking his man, man a little bit better now, though, is McDonald. Lateral movement in that right leg. Oh, McDonald, uh, Montagnac manages to get away. Three minutes, five seconds now in round number three, the third and final round here so far. It's all been finishes from the opening fight. Two submissions, one knockout, and now Montagnac McDonald taking us into the third round here at Octagon 49 here in Yeah, Cologne. I gave you the commentator's curse, didn't I, with that? It's your fault, Luke. It is my fault. It's nothing, your nothing fault. Nothing to do with these, these two in here. <laughs> it's all me, halfway through this third and final. McDonald looks a little bit more lively in this third round, believe it or not. There's that right hand, just skims. He's, he's trying. He's got he's, the tools, Luke, he really does, I mean, at the moment, he's just following Montagnac, though. He's not, now he's cutting him off. He, he, he go varies between following him and then trying to control the Oscar cage. But the clock ticking. There's that left oh, hand. Oh, nice oh, shot. Left hand. Clean his shot there. A little wobbly leg there from Montagnac, but back on, his, back on his bike, circling on the outside. But he felt that, and you can see this is what we need. We need, um, you know, McDonald to try and wake up now and believe he can win this fight, because at the moment, he doesn't even look like he believes it himself. Good left hand lands there from Montagnac. Two minutes remaining for McDonald. And still the corner, very vocal corner from that Mahmoudi gym for Montagnac. And sometimes it's hard for fighters to make changes, right? And it takes moments like that knockout for you to reevaluate that situation. I mean, for me personally, Montagnac's done great, but I, I'd like to see a takedown attempt, maybe take away the, the, just the upper there. And he, oh, as, there a, as I say, he does it. Because he just now he takes away any danger of losing the fight. Even if he just got the takedown, and especially what we saw in that first round. He's going to let him back up, though. We saw in the first round how dominant he was once he was on top. McDonald is, is exhausted. You can see as we go into the final minute. But Montagnac doesn't need to do anything, especially where we've seen him before. Obviously, you want to entertain and you want to do all the, everything like that and make a name for yourself, but we know McDonald carries power and aggression. Oh, nice oh. overhand, wobbles his man. Oh, he goes mixed to the body, up. then goes to the head, beautiful. Stands there, <laughs> scratches his nose and comes forward again, does McDonald. Yeah, McDonald tough as nails. The tough ain't gonna win this right now, Luke. 
45 seconds to make some magic happen to at least test Montagnac in some way. Super, super deep. I'd like to see Montagnac go back to those leg kicks, change that range. He got caught a little bit he there. He got caught there. You see, he can hurt Montagnac without a doubt. He has the tools, he has the weapons. He's just left him in the locker, Luke. Yeah, I believe definitely uh, a case of travel or ring rust or cage rust or whatever you want to call it. Some people believe in it, some people don't. I think it just affects everyone differently. But for McDonald, he's definitely had a tough night here. But Montagnac, shown development, shown nice movement. Oh. Shown intelligence, that takedown attempt's a good one. Gets oh, his, it. his leg went under him. His leg went under him as he went down. Oh. Well, he's probably legs. Come after three rounds, let's see how the judges score this fight. All three judges score this fight 30 27 for the winner, Yorick Montagnac. The year 2024 is coming, and so is Octagon MMA. Our UK and Irish adventure continues with four more events on British soil coming next year. The most spectacular MMA show in Europe has to be experienced to be believed. Bringing you the best talent from the UK and Ireland as well as stars from Europe and beyond. Atmosphere, emotions and adrenaline all in one place. This is where Shamrock shines. First stop is Newcastle on January 27th and then Birmingham. Tickets on sale from November 20th.